Aloha and welcome. I am so glad to have an amazing man joining me from Mumbai, India, Dr. Roy, who's a worldwide chairman and president and CEO of the International Arts Acts Authors Club Worldwide, global chairman at World Art Summit for Peace, worldwide president and CEO of the um, Authors Club, and also a voting member of the Recording Academy, uh, Grammys. Um, so we're fellow members there. And he's been very, very involved as an artist, creating an amazing campaign for breast cancer awareness. Now, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And it's so important that these beautiful expressions that are educational inspection and, and educational expressions that are inspiring um, happen. And I have to say, Dr. Roy, you have taken this idea I imagine it's because you're an artist. You've taken this idea to your fellow friends and artists in India and have expanded it around the world to this great campaign for breast cancer awareness. So I, I honor the fact that you've been so committed to this. Can you tell me where it began and how it's going? Yeah, it, it started uh, when we were approaching the Valentine's month, that is February 2021 in this pandemic. Uh, we decided that we will touch the heart. Valentine's is the festival of heart. So we thought that we will touch the hearts of this world through a humanitarian campaign through art. And that is, we will be offering the service to the mother earth, to the mother of this world by extending support for the awareness of the breast cancer and also to create facilities for the breast cancer survivors worldwide. We got instantly a partner from the land of America National Breast Cancer Foundation at Dallas, Texas. Becca Apple, the director partnership, joined within 48 hours to say, yes, we are partnering with you. And that's how it's so brilliantly uh, Indo-American partnership can formed to offer services to this particular cause and cancer is such a disease which is affecting this world much more than the pandemic. And it's a slow killer. It's a silent killer. I just lost one of my great artist friend, Ellen Lack from UK. She breathed the last in September, 2021. And while she being the last two months in the hospital bed, she was constantly been in touch with me and inspiring me that keep going, keep going. Let this campaign hit the peak. I am I'm there with you. I'm still alive. And I tell you, I wanted to through, the, through this particular program of yours, I wanted to tell to billions of Helen Lack, and Helen Lack up there is also hearing that Helen, we are not going to stop anywhere. We will keep the promise that I have kept when you asked me that you will continue this campaign and it will reach its peak. And I said, yes, Helen, I will do that. And we sacrificed it. This is not a very easy, smooth going. This is a very hard fought uh, achievement to create such a campaign and to keep it going in a pandemic. But you will be surprised that today we touched more than 60 countries, 800 plus artists, more than 1600 plus artworks. I have 18 creative uh, girls and boys working day in, day out to create nine catalogs to have all the artworks into it so that we can hand it over to Sotheby's so that Sotheby's can finally do the auction. 
we are going to uh, travel all across the world and finally reach America in June 2022. And we'll have the two last two months of this journey of this campaign in America. And we will like to do the final show either at New York or at Washington DC, having your former first lady as our guest of honor, Michelle Obama. I salute her energy and inspiration. And of course your present vice president who has a part of India in her because her mother is from India. So that way, uh, we this campaign has a very, very interesting character. And it is, I can't tell you, I'm almost on tears when I'm going to say that this campaign has also will be gifting four cancer research center in India for the poor and the privileged farmers who doesn't need to pay for their cancer treatments, who doesn't need to pay for their checkups, their consultations, all that will be taken care of by the funds that we are raising from this campaign. And we are handing over 100,000 US dollar to National Breast Cancer Foundation incorporated at Dallas, Texas. And uh, my friend there, uh, Becca, Epole, Douglas File, and others, they all, I'm sure, will be hearing your broadcast on some day when it is made available for peoples to hear. They are a brilliant, brilliant spirit. I must mention my great friend, Kevin Mackey, yes. who has uh, come forward with his entire uh, team of musicians. And Kevin is a great ambassador of humanity. Uh, Kevin and his team is creating an album I can't believe this, you know, when Kevin said this officially, 16th of September, I think he has put it on record on social media that he and his team are going to uh, offer a creator album, dedicating it to this campaign for the breast cancer survivors. And we all are looking forward. We all are looking forward the entire universe will be uh, saluting your effort, Kevin Mackey. Through this broadcast of Cindy, I wanted to extend my heartiest salute to yes. you all. He's, he's been a big influence in my life. And I'm going, going to, I've already offered um, a spoken word poem to it, but I'm going to do more. And I've had a chance to work with Kevin on many CDs and you're a musician as well. Uh, what, what kind of um, involvement do you have in music? Ah, I'm actually not a musician uh, uh, that way, but yes, I have been part of the Hindustani classical music uh, for a good uh, number of last 20 years. Uh, I have a dream to create a, a city, a, a, a city which is connected with music. Uh, I have a dream of uh, bringing that up someday. Maybe there I will have Kevin again uh, participating in it, where we will have Western maestros like Kevin and others, and we have Indian maestros together we will form a city of music where it. the musicians uh, will come in. Uh, my son is practicing uh, music uh, faculty. Uh, she, uh, he is a uh, Zaz musician in India and soon traveling to America, looking forward to. And uh, I have hundreds of musician friends with whom I spend uh, good quality time. I'm a painter, uh, uh, though I'm a doctor, but I am practicing painting for the last 25 plus years. I got my learning from uh, late former maestro of Indian painting, uh, Manjit Bawa. 
And uh, yes, that's. So with this beautiful combination, I happen to love arts. I love music. I love art. And, and to be able to take that artistic and inspired energy and channel it into something positive, which you are doing so beautifully, um, we have to also bridge the you know, idea and awareness to people here in America that we are very, very lucky and blessed to have facilities where most any woman that wants can, can go and get a mammogram. She can go and get tested. She can do self-test, but there still is many people who don't take advantage of this. And if they were able to be aware, and I'm hoping they can be aware, there's places around the world and in India where women do not have this opportunity right now. So for you to be able to bring this forth to women where they can have these um, ch chances to really um, stop the spread of breast cancer by early detection is quite an amazing gift to all those women who haven't had that opportunity before. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and, and on top of that, what you're also doing is bringing together the, the beautiful people and souls of people who are respected here and your friend who passed on and a culmination of this amazing um, exhibit that's gonna happen when also you gift people with the money raised. How did you raise the money? Were, were there fees paid for people who bought the artwork or how did you raise $100,000 that you're gonna give in next June? Yeah, these paintings that been donated by uh, this uh, brilliant, brilliant artists all across the world, these paintings will be auctioned uh, in the last phase of this campaign. And uh, we, uh, right now, the valuation calculations that we could uh, estimate can go beyond the 100,000 milestone. That's so, amazing. So are you still yeah. gathering artists around the world or is it pretty much already been um, complete as far as the registration of people's offerings? Are you still trying to get people to offer their artwork to this project? You know, I tell you, initially we were trying, but now it has taken such a indigenous momentum uh -huh. that every day I can't say no to someone who comes in and offering uh, their uh, creative artworks. Uh, from different channel sources, they are coming and because it's now reaching them, I don't know from where, but it is reaching them because I found artists from Ecuador, from Lithuania, from different, different corners from Africa. People are uh, sending me mails uh, that can I, will you allow me, I would like to and I actually, to be honest, Cindy, I cannot say no to any one of them. Maybe, maybe uh, sometime around April 2022, I'll be able to finally say that hold on <laughs> till we come out with our next campaign. That's good. And so, we will conclude. Do you have a website that you've created for this, or is there a, a way people can see what's happening with this amazing campaign you're doing? Yeah, we do have a website, internationalartacts.org, where uh, the campaign is uh, broadcasted. Uh, there are updates of the campaign, but it is so much happening every day every second some new news some new uh, campaign uh, updation is very difficult you know to update everything on the uh, website uh, on a daily basis but yes to a great extent it is updated but otherwise the social media my facebook page uh, international art acts has a page uh, we are updating uh, in a way, uh, all the latest uh, happenings. So, and you have a very good page and you do post uh, a lot of interesting information, which 
uh, when I look at it, it makes me realize how connected you are uh, with globally and, and, and so many of your works you do are globally. And I have to say that inspired me when I see people getting out of their own mind, their own city, their own country and going globally. Uh, we have such an amazing, powerful force of people who are working for good and goodwill globally. Um, you can see what happens when you do think globally and maybe act locally, but think globally, but then also act internationally once you connect globally. It's a beautiful circle you've created globally. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, I, you know, the pandemic has helped the globe turning into one. The pandemic has actually helped this globe looks like a one nation. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, uh, I deeply uh, felt that how interestingly uh, people like Michael Jackson, then uh, the, all other musicians, uh, they, they, Stevie Wonder and uh, all others, they all club together and they sang that song, We Are the Wall, We Are the Child. Yeah, we Are the World. That, yeah. that, that is something which this pandemic has made this globe think in one form. That yes, it's one universe. And let's do uh, whatever we can to make this world smiling beautifully in togetherness. I totally, totally agree. My album, I put out two albums here before last, we're all in this together and, and together words and music. And I, I was honored by uh, my friend Kevin and Rupam Sarmer to be um, also recognized with UNESCO um, as a poet lord, because I write and 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 poets for peace um, really also do work. And, I, and then I through that realized what UNESCO is doing is so big that many people here unfortunately are not aware of the work that these great organizations like UNESCO are doing around the world. And just the gift to me of knowing people like you and others that I met through that um, UNESCO meeting for International World Peace Day last year. It really opened my eyes to how many people wish to work for good in this world. And it's so important for us not to forget that we see so much bad news. We hear so much happening that is discouraging that a lot of people are losing hope. And we've got to remember there are a lot of people out there that we never get to meet, that we may never know, that are doing wonderful good things and dedicating their lives. I mean, I'm so glad I got to meet you through this. I mean, when you think of how this idea to work for a breast cancer awareness through the arts is such an amazing gift. Then you'll be able to have that culmination in June with what will be a memorable um, celebration in New York. I hope I can go at that point. We're a long way from that. I'm here in Maui, but, but even further away from India, I'm afraid. But, but um, I, I, I just see again, even for those that can't go, you'll be able to globally have people join that event through the, the streaming, you know, and the event can be then shared. And, and after that, Dr. Roy, think of how many people will want to participate again the following year. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We are really looking forward. We are really looking forward. I honor you and I'm very, very glad we got to connect and I'm glad I'll be able to offer some of my um, inspiration through words and, and possibly music for the following uh, year when we have that album that comes out. And I, I thank you so very much. Again, that website or Facebook site that people can go to is uh, for the art part of it. What is that website? Internationalartacts.org. International Art, Arts or Art Acts? Arts. Art, International Art okay. Acts, A-C-T-S, Acts. Okay. Like, uh, th this is what we mean that Art Acts. Uh -huh. So internationalartacts.org and uh, the Facebook page is my own Facebook page in the name of Dr. Dipankar Roy. 
and then in same uh, international art acts. I'll go, I'll as go that out. I, I hope everyone hearing this realizes that there are people working for this important project of breast cancer awareness. Um, you lost your friend. Um, there's a few actors in the last month that also, and, and one very young. This is something that can be stopped if people do take the time to get tested, to bring awareness, to take any kind of fear out of that part of it by talking about this. Um, this really helps by seeing the artwork and how everyone's working together inspires us all. So yeah. I thank you again, uh, a deep, deep bow of gratitude for the work you're doing, Dr. Roy. Thank you. It is, it is a pleasure and the blessings of God that God has allowed uh, me to really work for it. And today I have a very, very large family working together, including my own family. And looking forward to looking forward to many smiling faces in the future who will come out of this dread disease that's cancer. And it's it's such a beautiful remembrance of your friend as well. So thank you. Aloha. Yeah, absolutely. Aloha. We are really looking forward. We are really looking forward. I honor you, and I'm very, very glad we got to connect, and I'm glad I'll be able to offer some of my um, inspiration through words and, and possibly music for the following uh, year when we have that album that comes out. And I, I thank you so very much. Again, that website or Facebook site that people can go to is uh, for the art part of it. What is that website? internationalartacts.org international art arts or art acts arts. art international art okay acts a c t s acts okay like uh, th this is what we mean that art acts aha uh -huh. so internationalartacts.org and uh, the Facebook page is my own Facebook page in the name of Dr. Dipankar Roy. And then in same uh, international art acts. I'll go, I'll as go a that out. I, I hope everyone hearing this realizes that there are people working for this important project of breast cancer awareness. Um, you lost your friend. Um, there's a few actors in the last month that also, and, and one very young, this is something that can be stopped if people do take the time to get tested, to bring awareness, to take any kind of fear out of that part of it by talking about this. Um, this really helps by seeing the artwork and how everyone's working together inspires us all. So yeah. I thank you again, uh, a deep, deep bow of gratitude for the work you're doing, Dr. Roy. Thank you. It is, it is a pleasure and the blessings of God that God has allowed uh, me to really work for it. And today I have a very, very large family working together, including my own family. And looking forward to, looking forward to many smiling faces in the future who will come out of this dread disease that's cancer. And it's, it's such a beautiful remembrance of your friend as well. So thank you. Aloha. Yeah, absolutely.